um, we're here at uh, the Connect for Change in the Spotlight Day and um, with uh, Case Adal uh, from Degas. So Case, you were telling me about the, the IJ, IGG group that you're part of, Inclusive Green Growth. Correct. Yes. yes. So um, can you tell me some of the insights that you really think we should be drawing out of today? Yeah. Well, there's several things you have to look at. Um, we were generating a lot of data together, basically, as a consortium and as a government together. And we have to find ways how we harness the data, how we mobilize the data and actually move forward with the kind of information that we produce. Um, I think, I mean, on a technical level, we have to talk to each other. Well, we have the ERT standard, basically, that we, we use for that. But I think it's also important that, that governments and organizations alike uh, communicate clearly about the kind of information that's relevant to expand. What's the kind of progress information, for example, um, that, w that we take into account? And we were talking with Yosha and you before, weren't we, about so IATI being a standard that's designed to capture certain kinds of information and then what its scope is to be able to do everything you need it to as a ministry. Um, absolutely. I mean, um, Yadi is, for example, for, uh, quite based on progress information, and I think it's it's the core information that we use in the conversations with, with consortia like C4C. Um, but I think in the end, it, there's a larger discussion about this. I think there's also a discussion about interpretation. There's also a discussion about evaluating. Uh, that's not necessarily a discussion that will take place within ERT, but basically in the context of ERT, on the basis of the ERT information that we share. Yeah. So there's a, I mean, uh, that standard, the IRT standard is being rolled out across all your programs and uh, with all the partners. I mean, that's going to be quite a challenge, isn't it? Because there's billions of euros of programs, I presume. Uh, there's absolutely. There's lots of organisations. How, how are you, uh, you know, how do you have a sense that you're going to be able to explain this to everybody <laughs> and what the benefits yeah. are going to be? Well, I think the reason you mentioned billions, I think that's also the reason why we do ERD, because we're talking about a lot of money here and we're talking about money that potentially has a massive impact. Um, I think it's very important to, to, to look at certain organizations within the field that, that might operate as, as pioneers, as leaders within the field. And luckily we've found a few, uh, including a few of the partners participating in C4C. Um, and I think it's very important to, to, to get experience with ERT and, and also not to be afraid to maybe uh, bump your toe a few times maybe in the beginning um, and to make sure that you find a certain dynamic between organizations and donors that works which you can then expand broadly, more broadly within the field. Yeah, yeah. great. Well, really good to meet you. Thanks awesome. a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Cheers. Thanks. Yep.